Shalom, this is GMS South Holland coming back to you to the spirit above y'all by Shemiel Shai. Before I start off, I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh by Shemiel Yahweh Shai by Shemiel Kakadash. The bonds to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect out there that's spreading this word and sincerity and the truth all over the four corners of the earth. God, this is going to be a quick hit. Okay, uh, one scripture. Just letting go my thoughts concerning it. Um, seeing we are approaching the day of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, the day of judgment. Okay, you got to you got to stay strong, man. Okay, you can't let these messed up thoughts take a hold of you. Okay, which we all got those messed up thoughts, man. Okay, you gotta you you also gotta consider that the things that you're struggling with, other brothers are struggling with too. Okay, you can't be thinking that you're the only one on the planet that is struggling with certain messed up thoughts or that's going through things okay always be considerate that the brothers that are standing next to you in the camp are also catching mad hell man you understand they are also catching mad hell and one of the subjects brothers often go off at is um, comparing their own afflictions with the ones with the afflictions of the other brother or other brothers <laughs> which is off man I, I oftentimes give an example wherein I speak about weight weight lifting okay real quick a guy that is a hundred kilos okay 120 uh, pounds uh, 220 pounds whatever if he bench presses 120 130 140 kilos and he got he gets in like five six reps and that's his limit and then you have a guy that is like 70 kilos okay which is like uh, I think like 160 pounds something like that um, 170 pounds probably and he benches maximum like 100 kilos five to six reps that doesn't mean you are necessarily stronger or that doesn't mean that you know that weight that you that you carrying is is heavier no it's just made for you because you different type that weight that you are able to push five to six times okay that is designed for you for your body type okay so if he with the 70 kilos will be pushing the same weight as you the 140 kilos and stuff like that that would be tough Okay, that would be tough. Danny is doing more than you, but guess what? He gets he gets what he needs according to his weight. So everyone gets according to his weight, according to what he can handle. Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is making sure that you don't get anything that is above what you can handle, man. Now, if you start to compare your drama, if you start to compare your afflictions and your hell. With, the, with those of other brothers and you start to say within yourself like it's not fair, it's not fair and what you're talking about is not fair who who are you directing those those words towards? who are you directing those words towards? towards the Heavenly Father? are you uh, uh, telling the Heavenly Father it's not fair? are you telling the, those brothers that are already going through hell and afflictions but you in your in your mind is not as as bad as yours are you telling them it's not fair understand who are you directing those words towards okay yahweh gives to every man what he needs and what he, he deserves and on top of all of the uh um afflictions that we still have to suffer because we went off back in the days man uh, on top of that you know, it's also a part of character development, man. Okay? It's also part of character development. There it is. You put up your prayers day in and day out. Okay? If you can, three times a day, you pray. If you can, before the sun comes up, you pray. Okay? And what do you pray for? You pray for, you pray for strength, right? I want to be strong. Okay, the Lord is going to give you something to build up your strength. 
if you if you say you want to be you you want to be uh you know big muscle dude well guess what you're gonna have to hit the gym you're gonna have to beat yourself up sometimes man you're gonna have to you know hit the gym uh, on days that you really don't want to you gotta do these things man ain't no slacking concerning that you know sometimes you're gonna get injured you're gonna have injuries okay now you can't be like well that's not what i asked for yes it is because the lord works with character development the lord answers your prayers but you also have to realize what comes with it man okay real quick proverbs 24 and 10 if thou faint in the day of adversity thy strength is small okay if you faint in the day of adversity thy strength is small now let, let, as a matter of fact let's see what it says in the other nlt if you fail under pressure your strength is too small okay now where lies our strength do we do we lean on our own understanding do we lean on our own strength no we supposed to lean on the strength of Yahweh Bashim Yahshad, the, the belief. That is our strength. Believing in the Lord. The Lord having our back. That is our strength, man. That is our support. That's what makes us tough. That's what makes us rich. You understand? So, the moment your strength is small, what it really means is that you lack faith. You literally lack faith, man. Okay, you don't see, you don't see a positive outcome when you look at your situation, when you look at your afflictions, when you look at your your life. You don't see no positive outcome, even though your Abashim Yahshua is right there with you. Your strength is small, man. You lack faith. What did Yahushua tell um, the disciples and the apostles on the boat when it was uh, when the ship was going up? Uh, you know up and down because of the wind okay and you you know man if you just have to go to um to youtube and look up the the roughest the roughest seas and that shit is terrifying man that shit is fucking terrifying man huge waves and those those ships just going over it man okay if you look at those type of videos and you picture that the, the disciples was on a boat with Shai going over those waves, you're going to be like, yeah, shit, I understand they thought they was going to die. <laughs> you're going to have that mentality. But guess what? Shai got angry at them and he said, man, y'all, y'all of little faith, man. Y'all of little faith. We be doing all these great things in the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai, but you think you're going to die right here, man? Okay, you think you're gonna die right here? And what if you die? As a matter of fact, not in that instant or in that moment, not concerning the story of what happened, but concerning us, what if you die? What then? Are you afraid of death? Are you afraid to die? Okay. Aren't you pushing the work for your Shai? Shimyashai? What does the scripture say in first Thessalonians chapter four? Huh? What does it say concerning those that that um, that die in in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai? Okay, they shall they shall be in the chariots first, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. It's a beautiful thing, actually, man. Okay, of course you want to live to see the fall of your enemy, and of course you don't want to leave behind your loved ones, but you gotta be strong in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, man. Like it says, if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. So your strength has got to be on a certain level that you are actually grateful for 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 going back to the spirit world, man. If necessary, if the most if the most high requires that, that's how you should look at it, man. Yeah, but my money, I ain't got no money. I'm losing my job. They gonna fire me. Make no haste in the time of trouble, man. The reason the most I might have put the spirit upon those people to fire you 
is for you to step up your game. To become sharper, to become more disciplined, to become more on point. Now you're fired. Now you're trying to look for a new job. You're trying to be on point. You're trying to sharpen your skills. The next job you get, you're not trying to, you know, be so lazy and uh, 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 laid back. Now you're going to be more proactive. Okay? When you sharpen that skill of being proactive, guess what? Coming into this truth or being into this truth, that same, sh that same skill of being proactive is going to be applied to. Okay, the whole reason the most I might have uh, 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 let you get fired from that job is to, to sharpen that skill of becoming proactive, man. And something we should be and we have to be within this truth is being proactive. Okay, when, it, when, when you go into uh, the book of Peters, first Peters, if I'm correct, it says, um, brethren, uh, uh, give diligence to make your calling and election sure, right? It says give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Now that diligence goes into um, goes into um, uh, proactive, man. Being diligent is being proactive. Not waiting for things to to come your way. Go ahead and grab things, man. Undertake things. Don't do things with, with delay. It goes into. Okay. Punch, being punctual with things. Okay. Also, what does it say? Um, um, in, uh, in, in X. Okay, let me grab X real quick. Acts 20 and 28. Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Spirit had made you overseers to feed the church of the Most High, which he had purchased with his own blood. You see that? So he carried a certain responsibility. So with, with being proactive, he carried that responsibility. And that responsibility is to, to, to stay strong, man. To stay strong and to show off an example and to lead the brothers, to lead the sheep of the Most High into the barn. Feeding them, protecting them, taking that responsibility as if you are, if you, as if you are a father, man. Okay, if you, as if you are an older brother. That's what you gotta do, man. And, and while you at it, okay, keep on your body. What does that mean? Apostle Paul mentioned that. Keep under your body. 1 Corinthians chapter, what is it? 9 verse 27. Keep on my I keep under my body, least, least after I have teached many, taught many, it's like, yeah, I myself should be a castaway. That's why you got to keep yourself sharp, man. Don't let those thoughts get the best of you. Don't let those thoughts grow upon you. It's taking so long. It's not going how I want to. It's not this. It's not that. Nah, man. Rebuke those thoughts, man. That's why we got prayers. That's why we got. That's why we got the rebuke Satan prayer. Rebuke Satan, man. Satan is the adversary. Satan wants to put things in your mind that actually you don't want those those thoughts to be there. Okay. One of the prayers, Akaika Shatan, Awashaika Shatan, Nadat Mayanya Shatan, Basham Yahawa, Basham Yahushai. Rebuking Satan in the name of the Most High and His Son. It's a very important prayer, man, to have in your arsenal of prayers that you can just, you know, spit out of the heart, man. Don't fall. Keep thy strength firm. Don't lose focus, okay? So with that, I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, Shem Shalom to the elect.